first time visitors expect the jungle to be dripping in huge and colourful flowers. However, most rainforest flowers are quite small and fairly dull. But the longer you look, the more you appreciate their subtle diversity. And of course they provide nectar for all sorts of animals, from butterflies to honey eaters. And then, if all goes to plan, the flower gets pollinated and seeds develop in a structure called a fruit. Some of the rainforest giants produce woody fruits that aren't much good for us humans to eat. These types of fruits are not meant to be eaten and open to release light seeds. This is one of the most recognisable trees in the rainforest. It's uh, got these massive flying buttress roots, reddish colour, and it makes it look like a, uh, a rocket ship. And every couple of years they'll produce an explosion of seeds. And as they fall from their canopy, of course, they spin around. So these are one of the few obvious wind dispersed or air dispersed the fruits of the rainforest. The most colourful aspect of rainforest plant ecology are surely the fleshy fruits. In the tropical rainforest most fruits are aimed at animals. Therefore they have to be attractive, colourful, nice smelling or tasty for someone. This large amount of available food results in a huge variety of fruit eating animals, from the obvious, such as fruit bats and fruit pigeons, to the less obvious. This guy is not the only sloppy eater in the rainforest. Large birds in the canopy seem to knock down half of the fruits out of the trees as they feed. In the moment up there we've got uh, big birds and starlings and various fruit pigeons fighting for these uh, fruits. The fruits that are, that are raining down now are uh, one of the laurels, so they're in the avocado family. This one's called the uh, Litsia leafiana, or the Bollywood. But just because these birds are gobbling down the fruits doesn't mean we humans can. Most species in the laurel family here in the rainforest are quite inedible. In fact, some of them are very toxic. Some fruits that advertise with bright colours are delivering something slightly different. And these little red-orange fruits scattered all over the forest floor are called shell vine. If you open them up, inside they've got a little black seed and uh, a little stripping of yellow flesh. This arrow is just enough flesh to attract some animals. However, many other rainforest fruits are delivering a lot more juicy flesh as they're out to attract the big boys. This is the cassowary. It's the largest fruit eating animal in the forest here. In fact, it's the largest animal in the Australian jungle and it's swallowing the kind of seeds that rhinoceros, elephants and large apes do in jungles elsewhere. But even though these bright blue fruits are very popular with cassowaries, for humans it's a different story. They're quite uh, toxic because of that white sap. Another type of fruit that's extremely toxic to humans are those of the dinosaur age cycads. So, unless you can identify your rainforest plants, it's very easy to poison yourself out here. Then what are the edible fruits? Well, there's quite a lot actually. You should always pack a biologist. I'm for hire, and I'm cheap. And this is one of the more common plants on the edge of the tropical lowland rainforest, the blue ginger. And uh, slightly edible, or at least tasty anyway. You can sort of take off the, the very thin, papery skin. They've got a very sweet flavour. You don't really eat them. You sort of suck the flavour and then just spit them out. In fact, it was said that rainforest aboriginals could be tracked by their trail of spat out blue ginger seeds. Similar in colour are the quandongs. Not related to the ones in southern Australia, these ones have an edible but very tart taste. And there are other small edible fruits throughout the rainforest. This little palm plant is called the walking stick palm and it provides little tic-tac-like fruit that have an edible flesh. But the most reliable and profuse of all fruits in any rainforest would have to be the figs. For human taste, the fertilised female is the juiciest, but even dry males are edible, for there are no poisonous figs here. And of course, they provide food for everyone in the forest. <laughs> 